Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about American politics. Ch the life exit of Chadwick Boseman, recently, just this last week, right? And uh, specifically, should Chadwick Boseman, from a, political, uh, from a political impact, have kept his condition private? Uh, I'm not going to bury the lead. The answer is no. He should not have kept his medical condition private. Let's get into it. Uh, and the reason why is for so American politics could have been better. All right, let's do this. All right. So, one, first and foremost, before we talk about why, in my opinion, Chadwick Boseman was wrong to keep his medical condition private, um, we need to talk about did he have the right to keep his medical condition private. The answer is 100% yes. He unequivocally had the right to keep his uh, medical um, his medical condition private. Just because we do something we have a right to do does not mean we did the right thing. Okay, I think Chadwick Boseman did the wrong thing by keeping his medical condition private. I'm going to give you a whole host of reasons why. Okay, uh, and um, and I and the reason why I'm going to do this is I think we all we all need to learn from this, right? Chadwick Boseman was an actor who did the best he could with his life, right? And uh, I think in this one decision, he made the wrong decision, right? Doesn't mean he he was a foolish person. Doesn't, I, I'll tell you right now, J. Scott Garibay, I guarantee you I've made more wrong decisions than Chadwick Boseman. That's for sure, right? Uh, if you live an epic life, you're going to make wrong decisions. And, and Chadwick Boseman led an epic life. He's Black Panther. Of course he led an epic life, right? Uh, he was incredibly skilled, right? But in this area, he was wrong. I'm going to tell you why. All right. Uh, by the way, much respect to him and his family. Um, the only reason we're talking about this is he was a public figure, right? and, and his life exit was incredibly public. And uh, his life touched millions and millions, it touched 330 million Americans, right? He's Black Panther, right? Like, this is huge. Uh, American celebrity, American, uh, the Marvel MCU, these are massive, massive um industries and when you're talking about massive industries you're talking about american politics you're talking about american money you're talking about american influence you're talking about american power all this is wrapped up in black panther all this is wrapped up in, in the mcu uh the marvel cinematic universe um all this is is uh is wrapped up in the comic book industry like th these are huge huge industries okay all right why was he wrong to keep it to keep it secret here's why uh one just the impact he's had to the MCU, right? So uh, I'm going to get a little Christian here on you. Sorry. Um, so I'm an evangelical Christian, and I've read the Bible like 11 times. And uh, that's not an exaggeration. That's literally how many times I've read it. Um, and so basically, um, there's this thing in, in the Bible they talk about, as, which is anointing. Right, so the Israelites would do this when they would have a new king. They would anoint him. They would pour oil on his head, and they were like, "This is the guy!" Right, like, right. And uh, so, one, uh, Chadwick Boseman knew that things were going south, right, and that that he had a big problem that could life exit him. He knew that, right, because he had good good medical insurance and, like, you know. You know, he's MCU actor, like he could get the best doctors in the world, right? So he knew what was coming, right? Or he knew the possibility of what was coming. He knew the possibility of his life exit was imminent, right? So here you have this huge, hugely important political film, Black Panther, which speaks to the 1619 issue, speaks to Black Power in America, speaks to BLM, speaks to uh, minorities in America, speaks to the downtrodden. Like, this is a political film, right? If you don't think Black Panther was a political film, did, did you see the armored rhinoceroses? It was a political film, right? Like, it was important, right? And so, so basically, the MCU is is huge this was important for the black community is important for minorities it was important for anyone who cared about comic books right and so basically chadwick boseman he is black panther now problem is now he's life exited so we have a ghost black panther right that, that's a problem we need a living black panther right so if he had told people right and said hey uh, i got a medical condition and i could life exit at any time so guess what? I want to anoint this person 
as um, uh, I want Donald Glover to be Black Panther, or I want Shuri to be Black Panther. Uh, sorry, I don't know that actress's name. I haven't seen her in, in a whole lot of other things. Um, and then, you know, or he could have said, uh, you know, Michael B. Jordan, right? He even could have said, you know what, I'm sick. Uh, Michael G. B. Jordan, he's a huge part of this franchise. I don't think he can, oh my gosh, boy, that would have been pretty cool. What if Killmonger takes up the, uh, what if Killmonger took up the Black Panther mantle? Right, I think Killmonger died at the end of that movie. But uh, if you ever read a comic book, death is not a <laughs> is absolutely not a blocker for a villain becoming a, a major superhero. In fact, that would have been a pretty incredible epic arc, right? And Black Panther could, you know, and uh, Chadwick Boseman could have made that happen. He could have said, "Hey, Michael B. Jordan should be, uh, you know, should be this, should be Black Panther," right? Um, and there could have been a public discussion with Chadwick Boseman using the power he had as the current Black Panther, and even saying, hey, let's get to it, man. Let's make this movie, and I'm going to hand my Black Panther crown to this to this woman or this man, right? And that would have been huge, right? It would have been a, a super cool, epic thing that we all got to see. But instead, we're stuck here, right? We don't know who Chadwick Boseman wanted to be Black Panther, right? And what's even worse is now it creates the opportunity for somebody to put words in Chadwick Boseman's mouth, which I trust and believe I'm predicting that posthumously uh, people say, oh, well, he wanted X, Y, Z, right? That's a problem, right? If he wanted something, he should have said it before he passed, right? Like, it, it, you know, it's a problem. It's a huge, huge, huge problem, right? And and my point is, like, the, <laughs> it all goes back to Bernie Sanders, baby, right? Like, you know, like, you're saying, hey, he was sick. He, you know, he was suffering. He, you know, he really didn't have time to be doing all this and thinking about things like this. He just had to focus on himself. You can throw that noise in the sea, baby, right? Bernie Sanders had a heart attack and was back at his desk in a week, right? That dude sets the pace in America for caring about what you're doing, being diligent, right? Life events don't mean nothing, right? You have a heart attack, you keep going, right? All Chadwick Boseman had was colon cancer, right? He could have taken the time to set things right in the in the MCU, right? Bernie sets the standard. That dude was willing to die for it, right? Like, I'm telling you, I would never vote for Bernie Sanders because he's got a socialist sticker slapped on his head. But that dude is straight baller American power, right? Like, when you have a heart attack and you're back at your desk a week later and you're like, let's get this done, I want to die for it, right? Like, that sets the standard. And it says anybody else, if you're sitting here and you have political power and you could speak to, you know, 300 million people or a billion people are going to listen when you speak, you, be, you your life event don't mean nothing, right? Also, look at Joe Biden, right? Uh, something happened with one of his kids and he was sad in 2016 and he's like, oh, I'm out of here, whatever, uh, life event. And then the whole world cracked in half, right? Like, life events don't mean nothing if you got power. You better get to it, right? This is America. This ain't some of, you know, like, this ain't Canada, right? You better get to it, right? Like, you, you have got to get in there, right? That's, that's the American standard, right? It's just the way it is, right? I didn't say this. Bernie said it. He's like, this is, this is the new standard for commitment, right? And, and, and my, my mind will never be the same. Right, like if I see somebody have a life event, and they're like, "Oh, I can't deal with that." I'm like, what? "Bernie's like a hundred years old, and like he's still balling out trying to do what he needs to do to take power and help people with it." Right, so if you got power and you can help people, you need to get to it. Life events don't matter, right? Like, so you know, so and again, I fully respect his right to make this choice, but I think he was wrong to do it. There are a lot of people who were let down by his decision. A lot of people. Let's talk about that. Who was let down by his decision? Well, for one, when you talk about the MCU, you are talking about an unprecedented success. Unprecedented success. There could be low millions of jobs impacted by his decision. Right? The odds that this is going to, the odds that this is going to impact the MCU badly is high. Right, like if somebody passes and you don't really know what they wanted, if there was if there was an opportunity to set things right on camera, in the story, in canon, and it wasn't taken, right now it's just going to be a mess because people because Black Panther's going to get picked and people are like, oh, I don't know if that was a good pick, 
right? Did Chadwick Boseman didn't sign off on that, right? Some people were saying he shouldn't even be recast. That's a bad idea, right? Like, this is a mess. It's an absolute mess. But the other thing is, when you were talking about jobs, right, his decision is, pro- is almost certainly going to negatively impact the MCU, right? Who's that hurt? Grips, camera people, directors, actors, writers, marketers, hundreds of thousands of direct jobs, right? Indirectly, comic book shop owners, people who, ha- who sell towels with Black Panther's name on it, and with all the Marvel characters' names on it, and frankly, all the DC character names on it, right? Like, this is a very bad situation. This impacted a ton of people negatively, and it will continue to impact uh, people negatively, because there's big question marks in the air where there could have been answers. People don't like question marks where there could have been answers, right? So, the reality is, so and so you have that, right? It, it's just, this hurt people, right? He had the right to do this, but I don't think he was right to do it. I think he should have followed the Bernie path. That baller American, hey, I had a heart attack. I'm back at my desk in a week. Let's do this. Let's, let's get power and let's use the power I have for good, right? Now, he, you know, I understand that's a lot to ask of any person. But we all got to Bernie up. It's the way it is now, right? Like it's America, right? And uh, it's you know it's really it makes me sad. I really wish he had. Oh, here's another one, right? His fans, his fans would have moved heaven and earth to get you know to get him to where he needed to be to be healed, right? And and honestly, if he had just told people. It's possible that the outpouring of love, respect, and kindness could have been a bomb that no medicine could have been. Right? We don't know. But I will tell you, if look at the sorrow people are showing now and think about the love, empathy, joy, and kindness that would have flowed from the MCU community to him. If there was a doctor who had... You know, who, who, had an idea, right? Nothing would have stopped people from giving Chadwick Boseman that opportunity. So honestly, I'll tell you, right, like suffering alone in silence, it's almost never the right option, right? I, I don't see where this produced anything good, and it, and it seems to have really produced a lot of problems, right? He had every right to, to keep his medical condition private, right? But I don't think he did the right thing as a person who carried the burden of power that needed to be used for good. Um, His wrong decision does not diminish my respect for Chadwick Boseman in any way. I think he was an incredible actor. Top ten American actors, right? I really believe that. Um, He was incredibly good at what he did. He deserves the lauds and the applause and all of the respect he he garners, right? Um, and making a wrong decision does not diminish you as a human. In fact, in my opinion, if you live in an epic life, you're going to make wrong decisions. You know who doesn't make wrong decisions? People who don't try things that are hard, right? And Chadwick Boseman did try things that were hard. He tried to be uh, to be Black Panther. He succeeded, right? And and because of that, there was a burden of power that was put on his back. And I think, you know, in this one instance, he stumbled. I think a lot of the times he didn't stumble. He carried it with, with incredible um, aplomb and uh, success. But overall, for the American po- for for American politics overall, the the decision to keep it private was was bad, right? And I think we, what should we learn? Well, what we learn is the new standard is Bernie. You can't suffer in privacy. You also, if you have a life event, you got to power through, man. Bernie's shown the new path. It's for all of us. That's my opinion. What's your opinion? Do you think he made the right or the wrong decision to keep it private? The, the evidence that I put forward that it was wrong. Am I missing something? Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing. And have a wonderful millennium.